I'm sipping, 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 I'm sipping. This is Sippin' with Sammy. I am Sippin' with Sammy. Sam Malone, Barstool Rug. If you ain't Sippin' with Sammy, you ain't Sippin' right. Please get your fucking life together. Yo, and we in here, man. Another great day. Shout out to everybody that's tuned in. Make sure that you like, subscribe, share. I never say that, but I figure since I'm in my right state of mind, I'll do it for the first time in damn near 200 episodes. <laughs> I'm going to say it once. But today, man, I got a special guest. Somebody that... I know from way back, somebody that has always gravitated towards my energy and vice versa. And recently, I ran back into him doing great things. But right now, I got my man Reese in the building. What's up, Pimpin? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Good to be here. Thanks for the invite, man. It's been a long time coming. Yeah, man. Glad to have you. Glad to have you. Um, I always start off with how I know the guests. Me and Reese, we met in high school at Roman Catholic. Many, 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 many moons ago. And we weren't so civilized back then, let's say that. <laughs> but like I said, we always had a mutual respect for each other and, and, and hung out and kicked it and all of that in school. So recently, I see Reese online and he tells me, yo, bro, I got the situation coming up for my brand. I want you to slide up. I got some tickets for you. Just come through, it's on me. And I said, man, I'm pulling up. And then I looked at it. I said, oh, it ain't even far. I'm there, there. So I went through there, and I found out that my man has a dope brand of cigars. And this is where we going to get into you. Nice, nice. How do we go from being knuckleheads oops, to black stogie producers? Where does that happen? <clears throat> Where does so, one get the inspiration to do such things? So, so truth be told, and you know me forever, and it's absence all arrogance. I just always felt like I was exceptional. As you should. Um, and it's, it's kind of like everything else with life. Like, you know, it kind of happened to me. Mm -hmm. Or happened for me, so to speak. Right. Um, so I'm sitting at my table um, talking to one of my homeboys at my house. Mm -hmm. And um, he was telling me like, oh, "You gotta come see this new hookah lounge I just made. I mean, I just I just put together." I'm like, "Damn, that's dope. That's heavy, man. Mind you, I ain't seen him in, like a year or something." Mm -hmm. And um, he was like, "Yeah, come on down." I was like, "Damn, you got a tobacco license?" <laughs> right My wheels started spinning, right? You know, and um, because I know what kind of guy he is. He everything has to be uh, straight and cut full. You know, straight straight clear cut yeah. with him. And um, he's like, come on down. I'm like, damn, you know what? I'm gonna come on down. Come on, I go on down. That shit was beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And um, we was just sitting and talking, and then we, you know, we were supposed to come up with a uh, percentage he can, so I can use his tobacco license mm -hmm. and, and piggyback off of him. And one way or another, I wound up getting my own t tobacco license. And, Dope. Um, Dope. I just start moving and. Like I said, it kind of just happened to me, man. It's like nothing. It's not like a miraculous story behind it. No, I but did. that's dope I, because it's, it's doable. It's, you you put your mind to something, you figured it out. You try to collab with somebody, and whatever happened with that happened, and you still figured it out. Like yeah, yeah. that's dope. But the name of the cigar brand is Chateau Maurizio. Chateau Maurizio. Correct. Correct. Because so my um Italian, this old Italian guy. I'm talking about like uh, gray. Uh, you know, silver hair, mm -hmm. real heavy accent. He got two, you know, two first names mm -hmm. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, John Carlo, it is. He calls me Maurizio. Mm. You know? And my um, one of my favorite cigars is called uh, the model is called a Double Chateau. Mm. So, you know, put my mix my favorite with one of my favorite guys. The way he calls my name and shit. So, and there's that. Chateau but that's Maurizio. that's organic too. So that works. That works. So when you say I want a cigar, this ain't like trying to get your own backwoods or, or nothing <laughs> like that. Like, no, there's a lot that goes into this. You 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 were a connoisseur beforehand, right? I smoked cigars for like 17 years. Oh, okay. You you was deep in. Yeah, you yeah, was you was you was shoulders so, deep. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Spent for sure. the whole lot of twenty dollars in, in them lounges. Lord of mercy. I, <laughs> <laughs> if I was smart. I would save some of that money, but whatever, whatever. Yeah, I mean, it led to the experience that got you where you at, where you provide the experience for others. And it did. And so it that's did. dope. And it but did. um, so you say I wanted to, I wanted to have the feeling that I have when I smoked the Chateau 
the chateau chateau yeah the double chateau yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, so, yeah. so I, I kind of went back and went back back and forth with the manufacturer over a few months um trying to make sure it's perfected to my taste mm-hmm. um what i what i what i liked about certain cigars flavor notes wrong um, makeup yeah, yeah body. The, whole, the whole body the 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 strength, leaf, the, the leaf, the mm-hmm. binder, the filler is the whole. It's the whole plethora of things that goes into a cigar. It's not just like a Philly blunt. Yeah, know? it's like a fr- fragrance. Like it, yeah, yeah, it got to exactly, be a balance. Exactly, exactly. As it is it fragrant the, yeah, at the same time to yeah. bring out the best in a cigar. So, mm-hmm. so that was a process that took how long? About a couple months, like two and a half months. Not too bad. It's not no, too no. Bad. It could, it could, it could have been like a year, depending on some of the other cigars, but. Mm-hmm. But once you got um, the the first cigar that you were comfortable with, which one was that? Um, the one we're smoking right now. This is the Maduro. Um, it's named so all my cigars. The lines are named. All the models are named after my grandmothers. Mm-hmm. You know, my favorite ladies. You know, you know, mm-hmm. women are the way to the money. And this is not like a negative sense of the word. This is the, the extremely positive. I preach it all the time. So um, this is the La Muriel uh, Maduro. Mm-hmm. It's um, Dominican filler. Dominican binder Maduro wrapper, and you got it back, and you said this is it. I said, yeah, we, I can smoke I this every, every day if I had and to. And I have not smoked another cigar since I got one. Because I think that's important. Like yeah. I've been working on a craft beer situation off and on, trying to um get my own. But one of the biggest things that I tell people when they like, well, damn, I'm waiting on your beer, I'm waiting on your beer. I'm like, until I find something that I could drink every day. Yeah. It ain't no point me putting my name on it. I'ma still be pulling up with somebody else. Correct, because leverage for myself. Right, you needed to have the integrity. You it got it, for, yeah, for your, for your man. Taste. Like that's yeah. not fair. I don't even want to do people like that. Right, right, right. Like right. I wouldn't really drink it except on occasions, but I want you to buy it right. all the cases. No, no, we ain't like that don't make I'm not no sense. My name to that. Yeah, and then like say, it, it becomes a promotional thing. Just like I'm sure sometimes with the cigars, you in a situation where it's like, hey, you go taste one. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Ha- have at it. And if I'm doing that. And I'm giving somebody a cup full of their first can and only can. It got to knock their socks off. Extremely impressive. It has to be. Yeah. It has to be. I got to say something. <laughs> yeah. And this, so this is the thing, right? So my cigars are in a couple shops right now. And mm-hmm. we'll, we'll get to that, you know, later on. But okay. um, dealing with the people that own the cigar lounges, they smoke probably way more cigars than I've ever smoked. But mm. I, even though I've been smoking cigars for like 17 years, mm-hmm. I kinda, I'm kind of a guy that picks something. I like and I stick to it. Me too. Most people that smoke cigars do not. Mm-hmm. They like to. It's like a um. You just congregate and with your friends or your folks and like here I got this new one. Check this out. Check this out and you share you trade and I'm like I got the same thing I had for the last five years. Right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, but this is this is kind of that for me. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I'm, I'm kind of I'm one of the, like the first people of from my circle. I start smoking cigars, mm-hmm. and when I first start smoking cigars, and people like they like, man, what you doing, man? Like hit this weed. I was like, I'm cool, but you know, I'm practicing being boss. So yeah, in the last ten years or so, I can say a lot of um, my homies got got on the cigar wave. Mm-hmm. A couple of the former weed smokers and mm-hmm. a couple of um, dudes that never really, you know what I mean, but it, it became their thing. They start picking up cigars, golf clubs. Yeah. Better, better whiskey and, and scotch and yeah. you know all type of stuff just started coming out. But seventeen years ago, you was a you 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 was in a, in a slim group for our age bracket. Correct. So so the crazy in this thing, area the crazy thing about it is so I went to I went to computer school. I'm a programmer by um, by trade, mm-hmm. but um I went to computer school on Broad on Broad and Chestnut right off of Broad and Chestnut, mm-hmm. and I would eat my lunch like. As I'm walking to the cigar shop, <laughs> trying not to get stuff on my clothes, mm-hmm. and I would go in the cigar shop because I want I wanted the job that I wanted, not the one they wanted me to have. Mm. So, and to do that, you need to network. Absolutely. And the people that you know were in the cigar shop at the time, they kind of secretly ran center, ran, ran in the middle of the na- in the middle of the afternoon. Yeah, yeah. They in the enjoy cigar. Your smoke. You yeah. know what they doing? They, right. they, 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 the money coming. Right, right. <laughs> so I went there for about like three months, and nobody spoke to me. <laughs> they didn't. They didn't. No surprise uh, there. They, they was like, well, "What is this young guy doing here?" It ain't, it's not even a black or white thing. It's not a black and whatever thing. It's a green thing. It just Everybody didn't make sense. Yeah. In that joint, mm-hmm. and I'm, I don't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't you know. look like you in school, right? I, I looked exactly like I was in school. Like mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Um, 
And I met this guy, and he um, spoke to me, like, what you doing out here, man? I'm like, you know, trying to have a cigar, right? <laughs> you know? And we just be, we, came, we became friends, and I became, like, their little cousin because they had me by, like, 15 17 years everybody but that's there. decent though yeah you need you need you need you need that range of um conversation yeah yeah at the same time i'm persistent man i'm i'm going to get wherever i need yeah i know that about you so there's that now what i think is very important about your story is um we were speaking off camera mm-hmm. brown people make the cigars Export the cigars, whatever have you. They roll them when you on the resorts. They roll them at the weddings, but they name not on none of them. Correct, and I I, I see a flaw in that, mm-hmm. and you know I, I feel like I could man enough, daring enough, mm-hmm. willing to take. Well, you've rest. done it, so I want to salute you on that first and foremost. And you know I appreciate I mean? that. Thank you, thank you, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. You that. know what I'm saying? We're going to salute that, yeah. but also, um. What's the details? You said in the country there's how many black-owned cigar companies? Um, I don't quote me on this, I even though I know we was on the record, but I no. think it's about 70. Somewhere around 70. And I only knew five. So I was telling my folks it was about five until I did heavier research. Mm-hmm. And I was corrected. And that's still, you figure it's 52 states. Right. That's, that's like one in, in a minuscule amount if you go by average. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So that's, that's still not a lot. No, it's not a lot at all. It's, it's, it's super rare. And like I said, in the later years, last 10 years or so, more of my homies is smoking cigars and they making good money and they spending good money on good cigars. Yeah, yeah. And I think that they would love to have or be aware of more black options. Correct, correct. I mean, it's a culture. All, all, at the because same time we too. going for flavor too. Yeah, yeah. But it's good. It feel good to spend money when you know it's going... You know correct, things like that. Correct, correct, yeah. correct, that, mm, correct. <laughs> <laughs> but like, right. I mean, I think of Uncle Nearest um, whiskey. Uncle Nearest was the one that taught um, what's his name, Jim, not Jim, Jim no, Jack, Jack Daniels, Daniels. Yeah. how to make whiskey. And yeah. He was a slave. Yeah. And his descendants went and bought all of that, the plantation, correct. all of that, that back up. I just up. watched that the other day. Yeah, and they um, well, not his family, a, a black family, a husband mm. and wife. They bought it and they broke down. <clears throat> To where his family all go to college for free, they get a percentage of it. They made the bottle, named it after Uncle Uncle Nearest, and put a picture of the plantation, the original plantation, on the bottle. Mm-hmm. So, when you spend money with Uncle Nearest, you know the story behind <laughs> that. You know the history behind that. You know that these other folks made billions off of this man's know-how, and now this is going back to his family. Correct. Correct. So that makes you feel good about drinking it, and yeah. it's quality because it's the original recipe. That's the decent part about it. That's the decent part about it. So, yeah. So, so yeah. I think about stuff like that when I see things like this because it's it's the same thing. If you sit here and you tell us like, yeah, I was in school for computers and decided, you know what, I'm gonna go network. Yeah. And networking turned into another thing where you sat down with somebody else and you had another and you had an idea and then you brought it. Like it's the same thing. Now I know the backstory. Now it's it's exciting to make sure that if we keep putting money in your pocket, maybe you can have how many cigars you have right now? The types. Um, four different blends. Four different blends. Yeah. So maybe you can have eighteen soon. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But we got to pump into you, and right. that's why right. I, I think it's important that you came through and that right. um you do let the people know that you were regular. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing regular about you, but ain't nothing, ain't nothing different about you no, either. No, no, it's like, I mean, your ambition is your own, but right. at the same time, you're the same person that ate the 80, well, 18 to 80, we can smoke right. a cigar. Right, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I mean, truth be told, I always had ambition, I always had drive. Mm-hmm. I just you used it in different ways over the years, and again, use it in different ways again over the years, and again and again, and it always leads me to something, but I kind of strateg- strategically position myself for these opportunities without even knowing it. So what's your regimen? You you, you you grab your cigar, you clip the cigar. What you drinking? I'm drinking the Glenlivet. Uh, it's like the yellow, the orange bottle. It's like finished in the, like the Caribbean rum cast. Mm-hmm. So it's a little more, it has a little more sweetness. That's what we're sipping now. More, that's what we'll be sipping right now. And a mm-hmm. little more smooth than uh, others. Mm-hmm. All, all the Glen Livets are good. I, I yeah, know, I've I had should, a few. I, I should do a partnership with them soon. <laughs> For real, I drank enough of it. So. No, I heard that, man. I, I think Puma, Cavassier, mm-hmm. quite a few people owe me some checks, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a creature, I'm a, I'm a creature of habit. I like mm-hmm. what I like. Mm-hmm. I'm into what I'm into. 
So that's just the thing. But um, four different blends, and you early. Yeah. You early. We still we still got got way more growth potential from where you at. For sure. You covered sure. a lot of ground in a little bit of time. What's the what's the length? How long have you officially had cigars out for the people? Since May May of last year. So that's May 2022. Yeah. Damn, we, ain't even in, we ain't even in May yet. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. What's some of the spots that you're in? Um, I'm in Cigar Code. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a in, big I'm, one. Yeah, I'm, yeah. It's, it's a really nice place too. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Rum, um, and his lady who, who run the thing, who run Cigar Code. Mm-hmm. Um, Infusion. I'll be there very shortly. Um, I have to go see the people from Light It Up. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Um, people rave about that spot. Um, the Belvedere Cigar Folks um, Cigar Lounge in Jersey. Mm-hmm. I'm in talks with those people. Um, but definitely in cigar code right now. Dope, dope. And I, I, so it's it's so many it's so many things with this this um, with the tobacco industry that it's, it's a lot of constraints in marketing, mm-hmm. um, advertising. Absolutely. And so a lot of it is you just you just have to go places. Mm-hmm. You have to be you have to be your face for your brand. And I, I, originally I didn't want to. I don't want to be. You was gonna sneak in there. You was you you was gonna make him think you was Italian. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hell no, hell no. <laughs> but um, so I mean, I'm I'm not. I mean, truth truth be told, and you might not notice, but I'm like more reserved than anything else, mm-hmm. unless I'm around I'm around my folks, and then I'm like the life of the party for the most part. But mm-hmm. I like to play like no play like the backseat and just you know. Enjoy that part of it. See everybody enjoying my, my cigars and things like that. So, but your face is so important for the it brand. It is, and I and I, I didn't know that until I met with the dude from Cigar Code. Okay. And so so I mean I looked at it like this: like nobody knows who uh, Ralph Lauren is. Kind of. I mean I don't I don't know what he looks like. I mean I understand that. That's 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 why that's where my apples and oranges. Was. Right. <laughs> this is totally different. This is a different. This is a different um, a journey. Exactly. On top of it, it's like um, the, 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 the gift and the curse of it is that you're doing something that's innovative, um, kind of. Mm-hmm. But the curse is you can't ask for anybody help. Right. Because nobody knows about it. Nobody's right, doing right, it. Right, 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 right. So I understand this is, that. This is, uh, I'm learning um, even more than I ever, I mean, I just like cigars. Now I'm actually learning much more about them um, and the whole makeup, the whole process of it. Uh, even... Like me, so I did my website. I mean, like I said, I'm a programmer, so. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's a lot of constraints on um, Which you can merchant on services yeah. and mm-hmm. things like that. It's a lot of details you got to go through and. Um, Places you can't ship to. No, you can ship anywhere in America. Because it's just tobacco in America. We yeah, you can't ship out of America though. Okay. All right. All right. See, <clears throat> I wouldn't even know that. But um, so, Scarlet, Glenn Livid in the glass. What's on the speakers? Oh man, <laughs> everything from <clears throat> uh, Bill Withers, Sade, to Styles P, and DMX. Yeah, everything in between, man. You don't know Bill what you're gonna get out of me. Sade. Phil Collins. Phil Co- DMX. Yeah. Smoking stove to DMX. Of course. Other than slipping. <laughs> all, of them, all of them, man. Said the whole album. Good music is good music. All of it, man. It's funny though because like that is the new generation of cigar smoker. Like I think that's part of what a lot of these companies are starting to or have to start realizing is that like the new generation of cigar smoker doesn't listen to a record player and put on jazz no more. So this is the they thing. are they do still exist, but they do they, they do this generation is everything. So We're everything. So all right. So start. So initially. Before I got in the stores, I would just like be going to places that I usually would go and promoting my cigars. And um, you can't put a face to a cigar smoker. Mm. You can't. Mm. You just see me walking up the street. I'm in Target or or in the That's- Poppy store. Like you don't know that I own a cigar brand. Like, mm-hmm. How could you? Right. Just like you can't put a face. Like I, I didn't know you had smoked cigar before. I, before <laughs> you came to my event. Mm-hmm. And I mean, it's dope. It's dope. It's like, but you can't. It's Shout like out to Chuck Wally Wade. You know what I'm saying? They make sure I always got something decent nice. in my hand when I'm nice. around them. They, they give me a stick or two. Yeah, you can't. You can't. You can't. It's like you can't judge a book kind of thing. Absolutely, absolutely. I like my cigars a little slimmer, but I still yeah. appreciate a good cigar. <laughs> and um, for the people, since it's his sipping with Sammy, 
my first time appreciating a good cigar was I was at the um, Naval Base at a um, beer festival. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And I used to frequent the beer festivals quite a bit because I get in free and I, I'm VIP and all of that yeah. when I go to them joints. So I'm there all day. Mm-hmm. From VIP hour when they got the exclusive stuff that they not gonna have in an yeah, hour and the yeah. food and all of that. So at the while it's like I need an L, but I'm on a naval base. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And it's crazy out here. Yeah, you may not want to mess around. So they had a um cigar vendor, it's a little little booth. <laughs> Went over there, had a conversation with the man, he recommended me something decent. You know what I mean? I told him my experience level. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. He put me onto a nice stick, and I think I smoked that. For about two or three hours, walking around the beer festival, mm-hmm. tasting beer, and it was perfect. I didn't feel the need to smoke an L, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. the whole time. And I was like, "Oh, this is a vibe." And I'm walking around. I'm talking to people that you can't talk to with a blunt in your hand. Correct, correct. You correct. know what I'm saying? So it was a vibe. And then after that, like I said, a little further down the line, a lot of my homies started picking them up. And yeah. they, well, here, try this and. What you went to and I'm eh, all right, where do this and so they I, usually be right. Yeah. So when I when, <laughs> when, I, when I'm when I'm talking to a, um, a cigar a smoker that one that's that's looking to purchase one of my cigars, I kind of ask him what how how you feel, mm. what are you feeling like, or what are you drinking? Mm-hmm. Because you don't have to be drinking to enjoy a cigar. Like I'll have another one of my my, my blends if I'm having tea in the morning. Mm. You know what I mean? I call it like a breakfast smoke. Mm. So it's a thing, you know what I mean? You really like on old man time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I, you know, I worked from home for like so many years being a programmer. Yeah, you do what you want. So yeah, I'm in my robe and having a cigar. Like Tony Soprano. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> stomach, I got the stomach. <laughs> Go get the paper with the robe open. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, it's my yeah. block. Damn there. Damn. <laughs> Damn there, man. No, but that's the life. That's 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 the dream because it it allowed you one the financial stability to be able to create your own thing and mm-hmm. your own brand, and two the time and and, and the way to your schedule so that you could do it too. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes you know mm-hmm. it's one thing to spend somewhere eight to ten hours a day, but when it take you an hour or two to get to and fro, yeah, that's and, exhausting. In between man. and the kids and the groceries and the you know I gotta gotta stop up. to do the thing and Not you know what I mean? The kids, you know, yeah, yeah so too, yeah. it's. <laughs> So it's a lot. So I mean, those are blessings. You you meant to be where you at, man. And I we'll, we'll, we'll toast to that. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Mm. But what have been like the um the surprising parts about like since you what what's the unexpected things, the positive things that have come from since you put yourself out there, you got your face out there. Yeah. You went cold and all, you know what I yeah. mean. Like what, so, what 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 have you what have you noticed different? So what you expected? So normally, I, like I don't have to dress up for work. So when I'm off, mm. I'm I'm in I'm, I'm I'm dressed almost the same way I'm dressed in the house. Like right, wear baseball cap backwards, mm-hmm. t-shirt, sweatpants, yeah, yeah, gee, sweatpants, whatever. Mm-hmm. I closed cigar code with my hat to the back. That's deep. And my lady's like, you're not going to dress up? I was like, I got to give him me, man. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I, I, mean, I mean, I feel more comfortable when I'm, I well, feel like me. Being comfortable is most important. Yeah, because that's that's where, that's that, you can't go in there and say, oh, yeah, I'm this young guy that has cigars, and I'm not that young, but to other by everybody else, I'm a young guy. And, and they're field, like, yeah. you know, they like, well, he probably doesn't know shit about cigars, and mm-hmm. I don't believe him, so I got to be as comfortable as I can be, so... There's that, you know. No, it's that's 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 definitely a thing. I'm 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 hip hop, so I always dreamed that whenever I dropped heavy on a car or something, I was going like this. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And whoever don't want to sell me is not getting this commission because mm-hmm. I want somebody that want to deal with me like me. Whether you know what I got, or I don't. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, and the older you get, that's like a small miniature thing. You like that's so whatever surface, but it's a mentality that we've had like. We are the hip hop generation. We come as like, except me for me, bro, because yeah. y'all been fake this whole time. Yeah. Everybody that has a uniform that we used to see and that we supposed to respect has not been the people they supposed to be. Correct, correct. You know what correct. I'm saying? I don't want to come at religious, but we went to the same school. Yeah, yeah. And and we seen some things. Oh man, please. <laughs> all right, we'll be on that joke. We can talk all night. We, about we, that we, right we there. seen some things to where it's like, you know, everybody that's supposed to be respected ain't respectable. Correct. Correct. And, and, but I'll get in trouble every time. <laughs> <laughs> no, so so another another dope part was um, the Eagles were playing um, this this before the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Eagles were playing, so I go to this spot near my crib and um, 
I'm, I'm just I'm out there smoking a cigar, but I got like a box, like two boxes of cigars in my trunk because I was supposed to take them to somebody, but they um I don't know something happened, whatever mm-hmm. happened, I can't remember. Makes up. Um, so I, I'm sitting there and um. That was a backtrack. So I, I bought this really fucking expensive car, right? With this mind, no, really, it was, it was crazy. And the mind frame behind it was, I'm not just selling cigars, I'm selling a lifestyle. Lifestyle, absolutely. So I have to give you some certain things for you to even, for me to even sell you on it. Mm-hmm. Before you even try to taste it, I'm like, okay, I can I can get with this Yeah, cigar. I'm not really buying cigars from you on Illumina. C- correct. Correct. Keep it G. So whatever, whatever. I'm sitting on the back of my car. Or I'm, I'm, I have my trunk open. And I'm sitting kind of in the trunk, mm-hmm. and um, my homeboy pulls up, and then this other gentleman pulls up that I don't, I don't know. I never met him. And I'm like, excuse me, sir, you smoke cigars? He was like, yeah. I was like, well, I'm, you know, Maurice from Chateau, Maurizio cigars. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm, I tell him the blends, and mm-hmm. you know, it's like, well, shit, let me get three. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay. Try four, and I'll give you. You know, I do mm-hmm. a, a, I do a, a sampler deal for the four. Mm-hmm. And he did, and then his friends pulled up, and some more people pulled up, and at one point, it's like thirty of us out there <laughs> smoking my cigar out the trunk. I right out the trunk. You master I'm, P with the cigars, yeah, auto. Yeah. Master and P I, with the cigar my chest, shit. My chest was poked out. I went home and I showed my daughter this much money. <laughs> and she's like, period. You know the little kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, yeah. Period, dad. And I'm like, all right, just please, just say. No, nah, that's yeah, G. Yeah. No, no, yeah, no. You gotta dope. take yeah, that. You yeah, gotta take it, that. It was, it was dope. It you was gotta dope. take that. That's funny though. Dope dealer. Look. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. But like, they don't know. You know the kids don't know you. They yeah. just know your old. They just dad, know that's you know money. I mean? Yeah, yeah and but this. So she, she, she actually put this like the, the badges on my boxes for me. Mm, so she working already. Yeah, yeah dope, yeah. dope. Get it started early. Yeah. I was telling somebody recently, um, they was joking about um, how many um, quarters in the on, in the quarter rappers, the dime rappers, mm-hmm. nickel mm-hmm. rappers, and somebody that was around me like knew them off the top of their head, and I was like, and it was like, don't nobody know that. I was like, I used to, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. it was like, why would you know that? I'm like, because my dad had a barber shop and they had a vending machine. And yeah. Who you think wrapped all the change to yeah. go to the like? Yeah. 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 <laughs> that was my gig. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And you yeah. might get a couple rolls of the quarters for you for doing yeah. it, or you might not you, get you nothing. Might, yeah, yeah, you might, you might yeah. just yeah. be helping. Yeah. 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 But at the same yeah. time, I used to know, yeah, that's five dollars, that's ten dollars. Yeah. I used to know yeah. what it used to feel like before I had to close the rapper. I wouldn't even have to, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you, you get. So used to it, and then they started making it automatic, and he ain't need me no more. Yeah, yeah, of course. Now you, now you, now you sweeping and you doing nah, bigger things. Who wants to sweep? Somebody got to do it. Empty the trash all day. Yeah, somebody has to do it. The grunt work, but um, no, it's like little things that you can do. Like we watch other um coaches do it all the time. The beauty of having our own is that the kids can help. Yeah. They can make a decision on whether this is something that they want to be a part of, take over, or possibly do their own version of. Yeah. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Yeah. But they know that it takes something to make some. For sure. They know For that sure. you need a team, you need support, and they know that it's going to be some some days where you ain't going to be as happy as you was yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Some days, man. Some days. Like, so some days I would sell a couple boxes of cigars, just singles. Mm. And it, like people really support because it's a black business and mm-hmm. it's kind of like knocks you off your feet mm-hmm. like from the beginning like damn you got your own cigar brand but uh, then they'll smoke them then he come, like god damn this is actually you a got really quality. good cigar. Right, yeah. right right okay yeah now 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 I got your attention mm-hmm. now we speaking and that's what it's about and the thing is <clears throat> you know that there's certain places that you can go to you can pull up at the plat on a nice evening yeah and pop your trunk and do the same yeah. thing yeah you see what for I'm sure, saying, like, sure. and so at, at that point, it's up to you. Right. It's not on nobody else. It's like sitting. Everybody always talk about the streets. When you got work, get out there and get mm-hmm. it off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> get out there and get it's it so off. Difference. It's a product and a service. You got to be. It's, it's all it is. That's you need to be is. around where 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 they need that at, mm-hmm. whether they know they need it or not. Right. And then you run samples, or you you get the first person to vouch, or yeah. you let them smell it in the air and say. <laughs> Yeah, it smells familiar. Yeah, I like those yeah. smells. Yeah, where'd you so get that, that body? So, that, so that's how the dude, the one <laughs> dude that pulled up when we was quote unquote tailgating, and he <laughs> bought those four cigars, and then like the next week, like a week and a half later, he was like, "How much for a box?" Mm. I was like, "That's there's proof of concept." Mm-hmm. Repeat customers are where it's at because I mean, I don't, I don't, I want the customers that I buy, but I don't just want your money. I want you to be a part of this, kind of. Yeah, 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 yeah. You should be. I mean, like I said be, early on in the conversation, you went from 
enjoying the experience and utilizing the experience for a purpose to providing the experience. Yeah. yeah. So if it is an experience, then it's not about you getting money solely at all. It can right. never be just that. Right. No. 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 Of course not. It can never be of just course that. Not. Um, if you were selling Fanta leaf for um. You know, pre-roll, unroll, roll, like yeah. that kind of, it don't matter what you put in there. That's yeah. tobacco going to be on the ground. Correct, correct. <laughs> right. this, is, yeah, this is a whole different ball game. Yeah, so it's, it has to matter to you. Yeah, no, this is this is a part of my heart. And it's it's pride in it. Every yeah. time somebody give you that, oh, God damn. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, yeah. You smoking that me, and yeah, I, ain't, I ain't, yeah. ain't nobody took me out of here yeah, to get yeah, me yeah, in your yeah, lungs. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, know what I'm exactly, saying? Ain't, exactly. ain't no Reese pack. No, no, ain't none of that. Ain't no, of that. man, we got... Boxes and cases of work. Yeah, yeah. and, it's, <laughs> and it's, you can it's smoke. Exciting, man, it's exciting. People are doing birthday events and 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 holidays and and babies and, and with just cigars. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. hard. Yeah. Like just outside of the regular day to day, like there's moments where people are gonna look back and like, damn, what was we smoking that night? We had the Chateau Mauricio and they always joint. Be, they, sometimes they forget to pronounce it or they forget the name. They like the one with the lion head on it. Hmm. Exactly. That's cool. We're going to yeah. put it in enough spaces so that you can see it when yeah. you get there yeah. and you you be familiar with your boy. For sure. Because that's, that's, sure. that's about nothing. Because Chateau Maurizio is a lot yeah. to undertake. Yeah, it is. It is. But it is. It's, it's dope and it's a great cigar name. And just like any branding, if you know anything about branding, everything sounds crazy until it's a thing. Of course. So of course your does. name already sounded good. It's just hard to, for some people to remember. Yeah, yeah. That's a that's lie. Yeah. Cause old dirty bastard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Snoop right. doggy dog. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like yep. certain shit ain't cool till it's cool. Yeah. Yep. And then it's the thing. Now you got the 18 weekend. people named the weekend. Oh, I wasn't sold on the name. Me neither. I heard, yeah, heard the mixtapes. I, like, oh, <laughs> I heard the first yeah. couple mixtapes. Yeah, yeah, he wanted Ooh. something. I said, yeah. he sold a lot of coke, but he got some. Yeah, oh yeah, he's wanted something. Yeah. <laughs> he got some. Yeah. But no, I mean, the name thing is a, is a light hurdle. If they identify with the brand and they know how to identify the brand, that's 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 first and foremost. Uh, some, you know, the crazy thing, right, I got like a million nicknames from everybody. I mean, for, for everybody gives me a million different nicknames. Some of these start calling me Maurizio. I'm like, all right, fuck it. Bro. No, it's you. It is me, though. It's you. I got eight names. I start my show with damn near six <laughs> names, bro. Like, right. it's you now. Right, like, right. You can't right. even... I didn't make up none of them. Yeah. You know, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, I answered all of them. Ain't yeah. none of them disrespectful. No, so no, never that. Never that. We never good. That. We never good. That. You know what I'm saying? I um, I watched somebody on, um, online that... He said he grew up in the slow class. You know what I mean? He he, hmm. he he just recently really learned how to read and all that. But he doing good in life. Okay. Good dude, great person. I know a lot of people that um are doing things that, that keep him around and he's actually adding to what they have going hmm. on. Hmm. But he said his friends used to walk past his class and make fun of him. They used to call him little 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 dumb dumb, little retarded, making punch people yeah, on the block and all of that. But the thing about it was when he says it. He always refers to them as his friends. Okay. And in the long run, these are the same people that always made sure he had a house. They given him jobs. Okay. They've built him a career around what they do. Okay. And he's good till this day because of them same people. Yeah. But that was a disrespectful name. And he yeah. took that and held yeah. that and was like, but it's yeah. cool because they still take care of me. Uh, truth Th be told, yo, we don't once, have that problem. Once, <laughs> once, you, once, you, once you own some something, they can't use it against you. Against you at all. So, so yeah. like we already halfway above yeah, above yeah. water because it's not yeah. it's not our things are said with 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 endearment in a in a respectful way. Correct. Like I had an OG, um, my man here from New York. He got um McBride children's stories. Check him out. Um, they on a hundred and ninth or tenth children's book. He got nice. books with um Meta World Peace, Amoroso. I mean, yeah, not Amoroso. Um, what's the um dark skin Latin chick from Love and Hip Hop? Um, he got books with everybody, bro. He got okay. books with my song, everybody. Okay, but I like um, my song from, yeah. from Rough Riders back in the day. My song, yeah, 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 yeah. The general, the one right. that keeps the hyper calm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, now he's he been took, doing he a lot of. Me back he been doing a lot of activist work, so okay. he got books for the kids now too. Yeah. But one thing that I met um head when I was a freshman at Morgan State. Okay. And once they got over, they thought I was from D.C. because I had a bunch of little um braids in my head. <laughs> And Philly niggas wasn't really rocking like that. But once he got over that, he was like, yo, the DC kid's nice. They like, not from DC. He's from yeah. Philly. They like, he's from Philly. But he used to call me King James. 
Okay. King J, King James, King James. Yeah. He always called me that. LeBron wasn't a thought yet. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's 01. Yeah. yeah. And he was calling me that. And he, one thing he always says is, remember, I always called you King J before that LeBron kid. Because mm-hmm. you had something. You see what I'm saying? And King J is not something I could really run around with mm-hmm. like I do mm-hmm. simple with Sammy. But it was just another example of that's how he saw me. And that's what he expected from me. Right. Until this day, we have a great relationship as it as it goes to his business and the things that I do. We always support each other. Where did Sammy, sipping with Sammy, think of from? All right. Um, <clears throat> I got a homie. There was a time when I was running around a lot. Okay. And my intermissions was always spent in a bar. Okay. If it's raining, I'm in a bar. If it's hot, I'm in a bar. Yeah. If I got, I'm waiting on, I'm in a bar. Yeah. And I would rotate a lot of bars. So every time my man would call me, I would be in a different bar. Okay. And he was like, you always in a fucking bar? Who the fuck you think you were? Sam Malone? Yeah. From Cheers. Yeah. So I love Cheers. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I kinda fuck with that. Mm-hmm. So I kept it on a, you know what I mean? I started, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? It, it was a slow build, but it was like, I'm gonna I'm rock with that. Mm-hmm. Um, That turned into Sipper with Sammy because things progressed. And um, the Barstool Rube thing came because I had been Jay Ruga since high school. When we mm-hmm. was at Roman, I had mm-hmm. it on my hoodie, remember? Yeah, yeah. And um, when I got to college, I had became, my man started calling me Jay Trigger because he said I was retarded. And then that just <laughs> turned into, um, it went from Jay Rigger to Trigger to Ruger. That's what it was. In high school, it was Jay Rigger. That turned into Trigger, that turned into Ruger. Ruger became a thing. Everybody was calling me. But when I got back home, I will be running the studio. Oh, Pro Tools Ruger. I be doing, oh, jump shot Rug. Yeah. Like, whatever, whatever. They always put Rug on it. My jump shot was always better than yours. Never. So when we was on, <laughs> but at the same time, the same nigga was like, yo, Barstool Rug. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? That was the thing. And it kind of stuck. Like, I didn't tell people to say this shit. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? But it, it, then it's like, um, all right, so if I make the kids t-shirt, I can't really put Barstool on it. Yeah. Yeah. So Sammy and Sam alone stuck. Yeah. And sipping with Sammy is a lifestyle thing. It's a um, if I'm gonna be media, then you gonna come sip with your boy. Like, yeah. Because this is what I do. Yeah. I'm gonna do it regardless. I'm not one of them people that's like, if I take you out to eat, you got to be somebody. Nah. If I'm gonna go eat, yeah. I want to talk to somebody while I'm eating. We eating because that's what I'm doing. Correct. correct. Male or female. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. Like, I don't. I don't like the weird. Thing. So I always yeah. wanted to make it an inviting thing, where it's like everybody does sip with Sammy. So. Just make that the brand. Yeah, I like that. I yeah, like that. Yeah, I've been yeah. meaning to ask. I, I thought I did last time. Yeah, because you know my government. And I've told people, um, I put it out there, but it's one of the things that we was just talking about with you and name recognition and marketing. Yeah. I put that shit on so much shit that motherfuckers have no idea that's not my name. Right, 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 for sure. They, for they think sure. I'm the only black guy in the world they say below. Yeah, well, <laughs> you are, you are. Who's going to tell you People different? be like, Samuel. I'm like, that's, that's not my name. Yeah, your name has to be Samuel. Right. Like, actually, it never was, but <laughs> go ahead. But it's just one of them things, and um, it's been beneficial. And I'm not going to lie. The original logo, this one, mm-hmm. when he designed this joint, I was kind of sold on it. Like, mm-hmm. I'm running with the SWS. It looked like it had the crest look like, yeah, I like, like it. Ivy League like type, it. Yeah, and yeah. it still was the bottle cap. Mm-hmm. I was like, I kind of dig mm-hmm. that kind of dig that and it got the leaves on it so it's subtle because I'm smoking and drinking correct correct yeah. I get it now, that's a dope story behind that man. but yeah it was just it was lifestyle it was literally because I spent like I know where many Mondays two dollar Tuesdays wet Wednesdays thirsty Thursdays I was in all of them jobs. yeah of course you know what I'm saying Car- the pop in this karaoke yeah, I'm yeah, there on yeah. whatever Tuesday night we in there what we doing you know what I mean karaoke is fun I, I just don't it's a well. ball I, don't, yeah. I know I didn't really do it I know all the words I just can't sing if I get I drunk like. enough I do a rap song but I got a homie an old head um, Barstool Jules um, Jules he has a certain list of songs that he do for karaoke and he bodies and they all rap jokes mm. but he go everywhere and if they got it he's gonna have a, a cheering section by the end of it because yeah. it turns up so that used to be the thing like I watch him bug out all the chicks will flock to him yeah 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 yeah. you know what I mean I'm sitting here so when he done he coming right back over to me yeah. and we, we party it but like karaoke night's a sleeper yeah especially yeah. a few years back that was yeah. a sleeper in the city yeah. and it's a lot of talent at them joints and I is. really like being 
around um, new talent, unknown talent, up and coming talent, yeah. sometimes older talent that might not have got their shot, but they still yeah. dope. It's like, I love that shit. And don't let them have a live band or, yeah. or something, you yeah. know, a, another component to it. Oh, man. Karaoke could be so dope or open mics. I went to one of them drums a little while ago, and it's this old head, and I'm not going to tell you where he's from because. He got a corporate job, but mm -hmm. he's um he just love he loves R. Kelly's music. I mean, I, <laughs> I mean R. Kelly I ain't mad at everybody. Yo. Not so mad at him, bro. That. No, but, he wrote for everybody. Yeah, so you gotta like you know whatever. Let's let's yeah let's 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 stick to the script. But yeah, so he, he did this whole uh, my mind telling me no thing, but he was killing it. <laughs> he was killing it. It was so funny. I had a great time watching. Him. I think he was R, but it was. It was Wow, yeah, it was a good time. Carry you know what you should have told him? Next time, just do Aaron Hall. Right. <laughs> I didn't even think about it. He Jack, he Jack Aaron Hall. I'm so swag. I miss you, Joe. That was the shit. I miss yeah, you. Man, that I video used to come with every 15 minutes. It was bro. so sad, I'm but it was a beautiful to song. You, yeah. Baby. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but that's funny. Like, it, it really be a vibe at them joints. And yeah. that was like, you know, I used to kill time. Like, I build great relationships with um, bartenders, servers. Of course, you have to. Security. Like, I used to promote all the time and throw parties on Delaware Ave. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Shit, the spot that you, it's a guards is it used to be one of my spots. Mm -hmm. um, and you, you learn early on that everybody in the building is super important. Mm -hmm. So even if I'm in a bar and it's a slow day, and I'm like, yeah, I'm about to, um, can I get my tab? I'm about to get out of there. And she like, can you stay for a little while? Because there's nobody really in here. And he's strange. Yeah. Oh, I'm kicking it for another hour. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. chilling. And then they reciprocate the same love. And, and it's not like even, yeah, she might give you a shot or two, but it's not yeah. even about that. Yeah, no. But it's like, love, when I get up and I run out on my phone, she watching my coat and my drink. Correct, correct. You see what I'm important. saying? Like, these things matter. Yeah, yeah, so no, it's, it's like, important. everything is reciprocal when you're in those environments, especially, we in Philly. These are all neighborhood bars. Yeah, yeah. So whatever's regular is regular. Whatever's irregular has to be handled a certain way. Correct, correct, correct. You know what I'm saying? Correct. So I built, um, it, it was like, the safest place for me to like really engage people for a long time without compromising what I was doing. Correct. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And I would go where the food was good and where the old heads was buying on um, Glen Livid at. And and Macau and and yeah, all of that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, if they got that, yeah. I like it ahead because they chilling and uh, we all just I, gonna sit and take be, turns truth, buying around. Truth be told, I don't I won't really go places that don't have Glen Livid. See? No, it's but it's a, a it's a different environment. Yeah. It's a whole yeah. nother and people be like, You bougie. I'm from uptown. There is some bougie in me. But I yeah. still go down to the hood and yeah. be at two dollar night too yeah. Yeah. if homies wanna go through there. But when I'm trying to chill, yeah, yeah. Oh man. <clears throat> Give me a little 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 um salmon salad and yeah. I'm drinking with the OGs. What we yeah. doing? Yeah. Yeah. That Let me get a season yeah. something, chicken season. Yeah. 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 And, and and we gonna have some fun and I'm gonna learn something. I'm gonna get put onto a new um version of alcohol or a new brand perhaps, depending on who's in there. Mm -hmm. Within reason Because they the only ones Like I stick to my script Just like you came tonight You bought the beautiful You know what I mean We ain't gonna promote it But it's here <laughs> um, I said oh yeah I know how to Glenn do I'm gonna sip with my man Yeah yeah. But if you would've bought um, This for instance mm -mm. You'd've been drinking it by yourself yeah, You see what I'm I saying can't, I can't it's So not, the, not that I haven't drank Like all of it man I'm, No we d I did it to death yeah, Burned yeah, it out yeah. I didn't feel the same The next morning uh, Yeah And the way my life set up I got yeah, to feel like Something the next morning Nine times out of ten We can have yeah. once in a while It's just a bad drinking night Yeah But it can't be Every time I drink this I feel like that I can't feel like that It doesn't blend like well that. With my DNA anymore Man listen, I'm not in college Wake up sweating I don't I have got time And I don't that. knock anybody twist Cause you get down How you get down I, right. I know worse Right right right, right I know right, worse right. But I know what Doesn't agree with me And what I, I really don't I don't even know how to gauge. I need to know my tolerance too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? We get caught up. That adrenaline start pumping. And all this yeah. oxygen and smoke in the air. And yeah. I mean, you don't truth, realize that's truth be told, over yo, your limit. Truth be told, scotch and cigars are like peanut butter and jelly. So mm -hmm. it all like my grandma put me on scotch, and I got the cigars. I say, damn, this was. This what was kind of name. scotch did your grandma drink? Oh, I couldn't tell you the name. It was horrible. Doors or something? No, no. Doors is way better than whatever she was drinking. Oh, all right. And Cause but, Doors but ain't she, bad But it ain't what you drinking Doors Ain't bad It's not bad It's just it's not middle. bad It's middle It's, it's, it's middle shelf Okay Cause the top shelf is heavy yeah, There's a lot yeah, on the top yeah, shelf Yeah 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 I, There's I, a I'm lot on the top snob, so I'm over There's like, a lot on the top shelf It's not bottom shelf um, Scotch though No it is Is it? Is. it? Okay yeah. alright 
I'm trying to understand because I ain't, I'm so, not big on so scotch, but I, I remember. I remember. My bad. No, go ahead. Back in the day, I remember one of my uncles or something. We used to keep doers in the house for him. Yeah, yeah. That type of shit. Yeah, I mean, I used to drink doers. So I thought that was the old school thing. No, it was some horrible shit. <laughs> she was just mixing, the, like, she put a lot of ginger ale in hers. Ah, and, so and, and she didn't, you don't didn't like see high it. taste. I didn't see see her doing that. So she was fronting on me a little bit. She get me mine straight. But a lot of people drink like that to this day. And yeah, you know what? The yeah. soda is the worst part. Yeah, yeah. But um, it's, you know, mixing it with the yeah, but, because you're supposed to just put like a, either like a little bit of water or you know just to bring out the bouquet and, mm-hmm. and the aged a little ice, scotch. little water, yeah. little, little salsa water, something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But um, and that was the rules. Why not know? It, it, it's, it's scotch etiquette. Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. Thing. But I remember um, I used to always tell people like, well, let me get a. Patron with pineapple and cranberry and I, you don't like Patron. Yeah, no, you don't. You don't even know what it tastes like. And you, if you, you do you know what it tastes all, like, yeah. you're trying to cover it up. Yeah, yeah. So can I just get you the two dollar joint? Because we <laughs> right. just it's fruit punch now. That, yeah, if you're gonna do that like that anyway. And a lot of people back in the day didn't know no better, and they was doing what your what your, what your peoples was doing yeah, and mixing. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> she yeah. could have found something she liked a little better. Yeah, it was horrible. <laughs> it was horrible, man. I wonder but, if my grandma was doing it. Oh, I can't man. remember what so, she was drinking. So check it my out, one right? grandma. I, I so I, so I swear I'm a Scotch drinker. And I go when I'm at the cigar shop early in the early in my um, cigar, you know, journey. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I go to this place with, with the cigar group, and I order a Johnny Walker Red because then after my grandma stopped drinking that horrible shit, she started drinking this, and that, that's actually not that good either. My man drink blue and black. Black is where it kind of starts to be good. Blue, and blue is crazy. Somebody blue. gave us. Filled this whole thing up for my birthday one time. Like, don't worry. I'm like, no, take it back. You about yeah. to get fired. Blue. So blue is decent, <clears throat> but it's it's marketed um, more than so many others. It's more known. It's more well known. Um, but it's so many others. That's what's way the one better. with the crystal top on it? I seen uh, that on a cruise one time. I don't know. They got some crazy. Shit. I mean, you can't. It's just like designers or watches. You can never know all of them. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. That's but, a good point. Like, I had a Glenlivet 21 that was. That Way better blew, blew that out blew, the water. Blew out the water. But you was in, you was on the red. To be I was, oh yeah yeah so yeah yeah so I, I so I asked for a red at the um, at the cigar lounge we went to, and they teased me. It was like, uh, can I get one of your cheapest scotches? And they had my finger up like this. Was you with a lady? Yeah, I was too. Yeah, they clowned me and shit. <laughs> but then after clowning me, it was like, uh, so I'm a Glenlivet 18, and I, I had the Glenlivet 18, and I'm like, shit, I this need is some different. money, right? Because this shit was like thirty dollars. I was about to say uh, twenty five dollars a shot. Mm, thirty dollars downtown, yeah. all yeah. day thirty dollars. Downtown thirty dollars all yeah. day, all day. Because yeah. I was thinking twenty two to twenty five. And that was cheap for downtown. But that's the thing, like they be putting you on, and like the same interaction you was just talking about. The reason I asked you if you was with a woman, I've been there before. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I just sat down next to the y'all means, mm-hmm. and they wasn't stunting. One of them might be being a yeah, little, you know, because yeah. he want to wink at the. Yeah, but yeah. for real, for real, this is what they do. Mm-hmm. This mm-hmm. is what they do. They. Young, is they way of saying, young boy, let me put you on. That's exactly what that was. Without, so I didn't really take offense of it to yeah. it because because if they were just left it open ended like that and not close it out like they did, I was like, yo, y'all some fucking assholes, right? But they weren't, and they, they and they sent you one, and they did, and then no, I, try one of these and I, see how I, that do do. Like Broad my horizons on so many different things over the years too. So. But that's why I always accept if it's certain things that I know I can palate tolerate, yeah. mm-hmm. I'll accept it from the OGs that because I'm not. How did I learn etiquette in the first place? Right, right, right. Like right. I know a lot. I know all the old school rules. You turn your back on the bar. You got to pay for the round for the whole yeah, bar. I yeah, know all of that. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? You toast. Yeah. You got to drink it. If you don't yeah. drink it, it's bad luck. Or like, like all that. of yeah. that. Like, and I, I, I live by them joints. Yeah. I'm, I'm superstitious when it comes yeah. to drinking. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I should be because I make good. songs we say do. I don't give a fuck about the you. I gotta be careful. But <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's important. I told people don't ever drive home from the club playing my shit. No, Still no, wouldn't no, get pulled over with that blasting. No, no. or DMX. <laughs> you know what I used to do though? Since we talking about drinking and vibing and shit, late night when I know I'm like, I'm not there, but I could very well be there where mm-hmm. I shouldn't be there. Mm-hmm. I used to put on Flowetry, mm-hmm. and Flowetry would calm my heart rate down. Lighten up my, yeah. my my right foot, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why Cause I said if Sade I would do that for me, yeah, cause yeah, Sade is one too. But at the time when I was wilding, wilding, like having to come back from Jersey like that and shit like that, 
um, Flow with Tree was that album was two years old. Okay. With, with the say yes and all yeah, that. Yeah, so yeah. it was like my groove that was That's like the my joint. old it's getting groove. Late on that joint. Yeah, it's getting late. Oh man, yeah, bro, forget about it. So it was like it wasn't my new vibe, but it was a vibe that I was familiar yeah, with. Yeah. So I would just and niggas be in the car would be like, bro, you just put on flow G. Like, you about to go to sleep. Yeah, 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 yeah. First of all, don't tell me what to play on my shit. How about that? I'm tell y'all many times like I pulled over with flow G playing. <laughs> <laughs> it got home good You know what I'm saying But no like These things matter That's why when I ask you about Your brand And how you enjoy your cigar Yeah That matters It does It does Because um, You are a younger gentleman in this game You oh, yeah. are a brown gentleman in this game You have a different background and upcoming But you appreciate certain things Yeah in a different way that other people appreciate them. And that's important for people to be able to identify with the brand. Yo, I mean, so... Because just what you said, what you listen to while you smoke cigars, yeah. you know what I mean? My homies is going to be like, my nigga. Yeah, yeah. It's really that random. They might yeah. not have the same list, but they yeah, like, it's bro. Just that, it's, that, it's just that, though. It is what it is. You know what I mean? Do you have... um? Because you said you have a morning cigar, and then you have a go-to <laughs> cigar, which is the one we smoking right yeah, now. Yeah, Um... What would be the other occasions that would make you change into one of your other two blends? Is it for variation? Is it I'm outside? It's cold. It's hot. So, so no, it's more like. So, my, so I'm not a kind of sore people. I smoke, so I'm asking him questions that might uh, sound dumb, but uh, he gets me. No, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> so my brothers, my brothers, um, they used to smoke cigars too. They don't much anymore, but. My big, my older, my older brother, um, my big brother, whatever you want to call him, um, he likes bourbon, and I'll have a stronger smoke. Like the stronger, the strength is a little stronger, the taste is a little. It's to complement the bourbon, right? To complement the bourbon, right? Or I don't really like cognac, but my my younger brother loves like Doucet and Hennessy Privilege. Shout out to Real Estate Ray. I just poured a little bit of your cognac just because because <laughs> it was gifted to me for the own um, two hundred. So <laughs> nice. That nice. was a blessing. But yeah, it's more like if I'm if what I'm drinking. Like I, I kind of put it all around what I'm drinking. Like I say, even if it's I'm drinking Cause tea. Because tea was the first thing. Yeah. For the morning. Yeah. I picked up on that. Yeah. I'm, I'm with you. Yeah, so it's all right, kind of what I'm what I'm drinking. But if I'm if I feel any kind of way during the day, is I'm just go to my go to because yeah. I like them. Y'all got to buy all four. That's what that's what yeah. I just heard. Because y'all got to get a cigar all four. for every 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 different um, time of the day. So see, well, that's wild. Every feeling. Water. All right, so how many cigars a day do you smoke? Uh, maybe one and a half, depending. One and these, a half. These, these, so these are Robustos. Robustos are a little shorter than Toros. Mm -hmm. So Toro, so if I'm... I thought it was Robusto. Robusto. It's Robusto. I love yeah. something new. It's all good. Solid. It's all good. You know I know what I'm talking about because... Probably other ignorant motherfuckers call it that too. Uh, it's for that, for that enunciated. enunciated. But uh, Robusto, okay. Yeah, Um. so the, the, the Toro is a longer cigar, so I mean, I might... I don't know, I might, if I'm drinking like a beer, and I don't really drink beer, I, my, my brother is drinking beer, you know, in Rome, when you're in Rome. Being social. So I'll have, I'll have it with that, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So. It's interesting, man, it's interesting. And like I said, I, I'm still at the stage where I let people pick my shit. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's like when I, um, when I didn't know how to roll weed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's like, you know what I'm saying, what, what we smoking? I got something to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but like, um, on a grown or on a grown or more expensive level. And but the thing about the cigar that I like so much is the same thing about people that like to drink for other reasons than just to act crazy. Yeah. The same thing I like about a good session of L's and the right people in the room. Correct, correct. And the thing I like about a good studio session is this one little variable opens up so much conversation does, and so much opportunity and so many future meetings and, and, yeah. and, and innovations just because we took the time to do it together. Right, 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 right. And you can sit and talk about cigars all day and it'll branch off to different... A million you know, different things how because... How you grew up or who was your folks or mm -hmm. you know, a million different things you can't, you know... Again, we could talk about that all night. Yeah, like it, it turns into barbershop talk. Like it it's going to go on till we it leave. Does. Who's better, like Michael, <laughs> Michael LeBron? Like it, it go anything. Like. Yeah, and th but the thing about it is, like you say, part of the culture is trading and things like that. So while mm -hmm. we're having this conversation, if this conversation runs over an hour and a half, I might buy you what we was just talking about. Just, just sit because, down, sit yeah. there, smoke. Yeah. Now your wife like, babe, I yeah. need another hour. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> correct, correct, correct. <laughs> 
But like, and that's a beautiful thing. And what I notice in the lounge is that um, a lot more of us frequent is that that's an environment that those kind of gentlemen don't get other places. Correct. Correct. The the certain um stature of not even lifestyle but conversation yeah. the level of engagement that they receive there is is, is that's they think yeah. you know what I mean the same way somebody might have to go to the gym and yeah. going to the cigar lounge is the same yeah. way for people it's, 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 it's and it sounds weird to you layman but he it's, know what it's, I mean it's, 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 it's like anything else like you just find like a common ground at, at, with, with different people in a different setting and you just build off of it kind of thing um what is the craziest thing somebody said to you when you told them you had a cigar company. How much money do you make? That's what they said. How would that translate to them? Because they're crazy. <laughs> no, but like literally, like no. And this, I asked for a crazy question, so I can't be mad that it was crazy. But it's like you got I don't. Offended. Yeah, that's weird, bro. But you know, I, I hear dumb shit too. Yeah, but it's yeah. like when you really think about. I own a cigar company. This is my cigar. Well, how much you make? You realize if you opened your own water company tomorrow, it would be variables. <laughs> and none of this translates to somebody that's not doing what I do. You should right. ask me how much they cost. Right, right, right. That, that was, cra it was crazy. I, I know or that. ask yeah. me the process. Or ask me my innovation. Or ask me um things like how has that affected my life right right no no that was the crazy because thing. these are things you can learn from yeah these yeah. are things that translate and I, I know like i push the conversation thing a lot because i'm in a business where i have conversations all the time yeah but i have great conversations because people understand the art of conversation and yeah. the art of conversation is unless yeah. we out of our mind we're trying to get something from this motherfucker yeah, this, this is just crazy i mean but that's funny though because i know you weren't offended by it, it identified who that person was correct correct and that's what they don't get yeah i mean i, I ain't judging I'm that's like, why i acknowledge you know, my ignorance when i'm yeah. like no i know some of these questions to a cigar smoker is like <laughs> but also we have a group of people that don't smoke cigars that are listening and like well shit I might try a stogie and they're thinking like me yeah. or or where I was yeah. even so I'm gonna be the kind to do it for y'all I'm doing it for y'all I ain't that a lot no a lot of them uh, is more like can I bust it open and roll roll something in it I'm like I would prefer that you not not when not when I just spent three months picking <laughs> <laughs> no, but they don't know you know what I mean like so, I mean yeah. if, if it was Armageddon and we was all in a house party Go and stuff one of them, yeah, 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 yeah. But like for general consumption, and but you know what's funny about that though, I don't even want to say don't do it, because if you wanted to spend this much money, when you could get a back pack of backwoods for like what, to five, destruct six, and five, reconstruct, five. then that's stunting. You can start with my, is, you can start with my shit all day. Kind of, if you look at it like that, it is kind well, of. Let's start with my joints. It is kind of stunting, but like it's just like I'm. Um, <laughs> it's redundant. It's, it's, it's stupid. This is this is my baby. Nah. I want you to treat it yeah, appropriately. You just, you just took all the, you just took all the organs out of my baby. Yeah, yeah. And then said, "No, nah, but it's the same baby. Look." Yeah, I get it. Like, but no, that's you, tape but, in but the leaf. You had to fuck the, yeah, to, <laughs> to get there, and you know, bro, I'm whatever. having the thing right now with you know how the end come off a little bit. Yeah, they don't never just stick right back. It was it's nothing that would make me say, you know what, I'm gonna undo this, and when I put it back together, because it's, it's gonna not, be because it's not gonna it's be not like made that. for that. Correct. That's why there's cheaper Correct. things that's used to do that. Right. 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 They last longer. They fold better. All of that because no. they weren't meant. No, no, they weren't meant to be cigars for real. No, somebody did ask me like, um, "Did you ever think about coming out with your own leaf, just to roll?" And I'm like, "I probably won't. It might be a market, but I'm just this is not my market." What I would think is, if that was a thing, you have a tobacco license. So if you wanted to go into another lane to maximize potential, whatever have you, to get over there, see what it do, even to bring people better quality on that side, yeah, reasonably yeah. and whatever have you, it wouldn't be Chateau Mauricio. Of course not. Of course not. Blunts. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? It ain't that at all. No, no, no. But the same motherfuckers that make Pepsi make and make yeah, and make. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so it, no, it's, I mean it's definitely a market. And but somebody it's funny else because probably do it. I'm just not going. To do that. And that's the thing. Not like that, but just like that. But see, that's not a disrespectful no, it's, question. No, it's not. I just I just want mines to be what they are. But I would be a little unless it was like I said for the purposes of expansion because 
every dollar counts when we build it. Correct. And sometimes Correct. we might put ourselves in a position where we, we stick to something so long that it's like, well, you know you could add an influx of extra 20 and 30 mm -hmm. in the meanwhile mm -hmm. that would have helped you get there. Mm -hmm. If that's the situation, I would never look down on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if it says Chateau Mauricio, yeah, I'd be like, nigga, you bugging. Yeah, it's not that, no. You know no. what I'm saying? So if, even if that's something you wouldn't want to do, I understand that completely. But as an idea, it's like, I see how you get there. Yeah. yeah I see yeah. how you get there. Yeah, yeah. That's fair. Yeah, no, that That's is what fair. we call fair. That was way better than how much money you How make. much money you make. Like, do you know that... First the, of all... You know the money I make don't go to me, it go back into the business? Oh, listen. Let's listen, talk about listen. that. I had somebody ask me, and shit, the same kind of money situation, conversation, but it was somebody totally different. And they said a number. They were like, you make like $200,000 or something? I was like, if I did, I wouldn't tell you. What would be the... Where did that number come from? How did people just start asking people about their pockets? Because that's... I mean, it's first row, it's crash. Why would you do that? That's so I'm cringy. I'm not going to tell you. That's so cringy. What are you going to do with that information? What is your intention with... Like, what do you want... Like... Uh, people, people just like to talk. They but it's funny, smile. though, because I think that what happens is you're so unique that there is no manuscript to how to respond to that. It's not. There's it's no, not. like, other position that these people have been in where they heard something that they didn't have an immediate predetermined reaction to because they were used to it. So, so I, I carry myself. If you said you put out more liquor, they would have three different reactions too. <laughs> right, have, but right, it wouldn't all be right. bad. It would all no, be good. Right, 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 right. So, But I, it would be expected. I, right. So I, 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 I always carry myself a certain way. You know, whether I'm not, I was like a heathen in high school. Outside of high school, being an asshole inside that building, I still carry myself as a gentleman because Absolutely. that's how I was supposed to be carrying myself, and that's what my folks told me. And you were fairly respectful. Uh, all right, I'm, I'm talking about in school. Even with you being an asshole in school, okay. you were fairly respectful. Okay. Like I know the homies that ain't no shit. That, that ain't give a fuck. Yeah, you yeah, wasn't yeah, one yeah, of them. You know, yeah, yeah, I wasn't dumb. You was wild. I we like, was I wild. Like to have a a good laugh. Mm -hmm. An inappropriate laugh. But it was Sometimes. definitely on an asshole level. Yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't evil spirited. No, 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 no. no. I never seen you picking on the no, timid oh, white no, boys. No, no, we ain't, ain't going to do that. No, or no. none of that. I never, no. you was never one. And no. actually, they only picked on each other. Which is crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. I was like, y'all are predators, yo. Leave right, each other alone. Right, right, The whole time, they the but, same boat. But you always carried yourself a certain way, you saying? But yeah, yeah, so like even even though like so I don't I don't know, maybe people probably think I got some, some money or something for whatever reason, but uh whatever. But we grew up really poor. Mm -hmm. Like really, I'm talking about cardboard and our shoes poor. Mm -hmm. Like, but you know, nobody was looking under our shoes. Right. So we didn't have to act like That's we, a hell of a metaphor. You get what I'm saying? That's a crazy metaphor, yo. Well, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I'm with but you. nobody you don't have to just because you don't Look, you don't have something doesn't mean you gotta look like what you what you don't have. Biggie ain't have a problem, so niggas start trying to look at the tag. Right? Shirt. Yeah, yeah. You look up under my shoes, you might get. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna kick but, you. Yeah, you ain't gonna see nothing. <laughs> right, 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 right. But even now, like, I mean, I don't I'm not rich guy, but you know, I'm, I'm working. I'm working. Well, so. shout out to your brother. Your brother went to high school with us and before us. Yeah, and yep. he's a hard working, very intelligent yeah. person. Yeah. So coming up as you being smart but not being as dedicated to the scholastics probably as he was I'm sure you had a lot of understanding about yourself for just sure putting you versus your brother and being like no this is who I am yeah because so, y'all yeah. not gonna try to make me him because we went to the same because you know what yeah. happened when siblings go to school yeah. Yeah. if you bad yeah. you gotta be bad too if they yeah. A's you gotta be straight yeah. A's too it's like no yeah. that's you won't do that to your kids no that was a lot man it was a lot so D D is like one of the he, he his goals were different than mine Absolutely. He, he his one of his goals was to be well read, um, well spoken, Think, um, like, and that's dope and that's heavy and you know what I mean and am admirable things. Yeah. So, but he always was like that. He we were like kids and he would like saying stuff like father, mother. I'm like motherfucker. Well, like yeah, I'm talking different. Like we were always apples and oranges, mm -hmm. whether or not you know. But yeah, it was a lot. It but was that was light for him. That was yeah. energy for Mind him. You, that I was fuel for him. I didn't know he had a um a, um. A scholarship to Roman mm -hmm. until after we got out of school. I mean, it's almost like a couple years. I ago, feel like I, I knew out. he had a scholarship. They didn't tell me. They told everybody but me. They didn't want to make me feel. Bad. I ain't gonna lie. They used to treat you like a legacy. Yeah. So yeah, a lot of yeah. shit was just like, just be happy. We still let you be you. Yeah. You yeah. was fooling. Yeah, yeah. They let me get away with a lot of shit. And, and no, no, real shit. So uh, even right now, like my daughter is like, why do you think you're so important? I was like, 
just do the dishes and shut up. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, like it ain't. But at the end of yeah. the day, but if I always, you, I always felt like that. Like one way or another, you can see us walking up the halls and, and roaming. Like I always felt like that. No, the vibe was wired. different. And but see, I think one of the things that we had in common was we never cared who like this and didn't like oh, this. Oh, you can't. We never was one of the ones trying to prove nothing to nobody, no. trying to impress nobody. Right. And it was a handful of us that was all thorough. Yeah. But, and um, recipes Ty Wallace, because, man, one of the greatest. But, yeah. um, yeah. like, we just didn't care. Like, we all came from wherever we came from, how we right. came from it, and I got you get down. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I, I, I dug it. SK now, um, you know what I mean? Ski used to go to school with us. Yeah, yeah. I just saw, I just saw him recently, too. Same solid dude. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and he wasn't on nobody else's time back then, neither. At, at, and all. He's, at all. And still not. And still somebody that we get to support each other in what we do right now. Yeah. Yep. In the entertainment field. Like, that's dope. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's just like, when I think back on those times, like, certain people really walked through that school and was like, I'm here for school, and I'm going to do me. But all of that, like, it, <sighs> there was always a social media part of high school. There was mm. always a gossip column. There was always an in the mix. No, we did stuff, and they talked about it. Correct. Period. Correct. Correct. <laughs> Period And that's not to be arrogant But it's like one of those things Where like I realized at a young age When I stopped giving a fuck They started paying attention You know what's crazy And that was way before I met you I'm, I'm, sure. I'm sure You know what's crazy right So like uh, people, Some people I met Maybe like two years ago When I first met them It's like a group of Group of people And they were like hey, You're kind of arrogant I'm like I'm not arrogant I'm, I'm I'm confident. I know exactly who I am. Mm -hmm. And if you didn't know my story, you would probably think that. And they found out the story, and they're like, "Huh? Okay." Yeah, I have the right to feel how I feel. I've I, I've yeah. been through a lot to get here. Yeah, on took a lot to get here. On all different waves. Absolutely. I wasn't always a programmer. Right. You know what I mean? And not not. But even people. becoming a programmer, and oh. you've been out of school for a few years now. Oh yeah, yeah. The same and thing. you just did a website that's relevant, right? Like you still yeah. have your skill set. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, um, you ain't just do it to say you did it. No, hell no. I could do something else. <laughs> <laughs> just do anything else. Lay on the couch and watch show, watch shows or something. Right. But they, I, I don't know. People get that misconstrued. Like I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm a good timer. I'm not. Bro, uh, you again. having a cigar wanna... company definitely makes you feel like you privileged, though. I, like I know you already So like But like At the end of the day If I met you I'm like So he Iverson little cousin <laughs> Michael Joyce son Like cause The thing is And you told me the process You said the process To get your tobacco license And it's something That's important for our audience Because it's predominantly minority yeah. Is not that difficult And not very expensive It's not it, but it, It's just, a lot of work behind it But just like Everything else that, in life It's not that difficult It's like Okay I don't even know who to ask Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the first thing. Because once you go online and you start asking, you open yourself up to the spender. Mind you, mind you, so I, so I did that. I did that. I did the wrong research. I was doing research and I found, I was looking for the something. I didn't look for the correct thing. Mm -hmm. I had my lady help me with her extra set of eyes. Mm -hmm. She found exactly what I needed. But this is, I have a great support system. I mm -hmm. always did. How do you think I stayed in the room in that long? Bro, no. But she, she helped me. It was her eyes. I got to. Shout, shout out to shout out to my lady. Man. I mean, shoot, shout out to K for Five Productions. Uh, it's only a certain level of figuring I could do. Like you say, I run into the same walls. Yeah. And it's certain things that immediately with me, and it's like nothing but my 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 mindset and my skill set are what they are. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I have to I have to be aware of that. Like I'm somebody that I might could learn how to do that, or I could pay somebody to do it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna pay somebody to do it right. Right, right. And I might ask them to show me why they're doing it. Right. But that's better than me messing it up and all I got to blame is me. Yeah. I mean, like I said, man, from the very beginning, like I always felt like I was exceptional. And, and it used to be even frank, if I was like, if humans could fly, I'd probably be one of them. I solely believe that. But I also have a serious support system, man. Yeah, that's important. I told people um, at the live recording the other day. I said, man, I walk into some of the roughest rooms with a light-skinned girl and a white girl. And we get shit done and we move mountains together. And it's because they know how to do what the fuck they got to do and I come and I do what I got to do and everything is cohesive and we on the same page. 
That's the core. That's the front line. Yeah, yeah. That's not everything. We got staff too. Right, right. You see what I'm saying? Paying somebody overseas to make sure the online, like yeah. these things matter because yeah. no matter how much I research, how much I do, somebody know better. And you can't do everything alone. And you can't do You'll it be all. You're a fool to think that you can. Burn yourself out before you right, even get there. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? But like, I agree with that. And one thing that I always say about me, about like your mindset of being exceptional. Mine wasn't so much associated with exceptional. My mentality has always been, and a lot of it came from basketball, but if anybody that is not Einstein can figure it out, then I can figure it out. Yeah. I have the tools to figure it out. Yeah. If if that's DJing, if that's um, something scientific, if, if it's not something that you have to be an astrophysicist to figure <laughs> out, because right. I knew that I was not going to dedicate 25 years of my life to right. being in school after right. school. Right, right. So I wasn't even tripping on it. But if it's things out here that people can accomplish, they can figure out, I know I can do it if I care about it. Yeah. So I never counted myself out. I always counted myself in. Because if I gave a fuck, I'm going to figure it out. When I ain't know how to play checkers, I wound up being the best checker player yeah. in my grade. Yeah. When I ain't know how to play basketball and everybody else was nice already, I wound up being top three, yeah. top five in yeah. my group. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I figured it out. You know what, Jay? The biggest thing about me yo, is I'm just not scared. This is not my first company I started. It's like my fifth company I started. Mm -hmm. I did okay on most of those. Probably two. This is the third that I'm doing really decent with. I but, built three radios, three recording studios, and I don't own a piece of um, <laughs> studio equipment. So, there's that. You know, we, I've I'm been there too. I'm just not scared, man. <laughs> first of all, what you going to do, man? I'll be so... I'm so confident that when the situations fall apart, I don't even want nothing from it. Yeah, yeah. Like, when I say I don't own yeah, a piece, yeah, yeah. it ain't because it I wasn't do me. Yeah. It's like, well, y'all the ones that really need that shit, mm -hmm. and if this is what that is, then keep it. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. at the end of the day, I came in at my end, and I know what my goal was. If that's not going to work over there, I'm going to run another play. Mm -hmm. I'm going to run another play. I've never been out of the game for too long, and every time that I've had to sit down on the bench, mm -hmm. I was strategizing my way to become six man of the year. Like, I've never, you know what I mean? And that's just how I operate. Like, yeah. you're not going to outthink me about what I care about when it pertains to me. Correct, correct. So I'm going to accomplish at least part of what I'm trying to accomplish. And if I don't get the whole thing, it's usually because something comes along. It's like, this is where we need to go. Well, that's that's what's, that's part of where being, I mean, even in sports, they call it being agile, mm -hmm. but in like the, like marketing, not marketing, like project management nowadays, they call it agile project management. Mm -hmm. And that's all that's, that's all that's built around. Mm -hmm. so, because people would grind people up. Oh, you sold the company. Your company was supposed to be black. He got 200 million for that. Do you know that you build companies to sell companies? That's what motherfuckers do. Right. And the next company that they start probably has nothing to do with that field. Right. They done right. did that already. Right. right, right, Like, I don't think people understand what real options are. Right, right, right. <laughs> But again, that's why I call it a journey. Because this is a journey, but it might be. it's going to be another one. And it's going to be another one. It's going to be another one, too. It's always going to be something. But I want to tell you that I'm proud of you. You know uh, what I mean? I appreciate that. I'm excited yeah. about um, the future of your brand. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Because I know that if you've covered this much ground in less than a year, then the future is completely in your hands. So you are exceptional. I'm going to tell you that. that as one black man to another, you are an exceptional being. And you deserve to feel exactly how the fuck you want to feel about that as long as you're taking care of the people. Yeah. As yeah. long as you put quality first. And another thing that I want to say because... I was a marketing major and all of that cool shit. Q-Tips is a brand, not the product. Correct. Just like polo is not a polo shirt. It's a golf shirt. The color of Pepsi bottles is specific so that when you see it or when you get thirsty, you think you need a Pepsi. Yeah. It's brand Everything around marketing and brand recognition is what you make it. Right. So right. the way you're starting off is perfect. But where you're going to end up is the, and this is a low scale, the fly black guy that's in the cigar lounge is smoking that Chateau Mauricio. <laughs> and they should be. You see what I'm and saying? Y'all should like, be too. <laughs> like how, how we identify bottles. Oh, he got that Casamigo, yeah, whatever they got. Yeah, the, you know what I mean? Yeah. No, the cigar is going to be that for the people. Yeah. So, so, so I'm, I'm, I'm definitely excited about it, and I want you to always keep those things in mind. You control how people view your brand, and Correct. you're aware of that. Yeah. But the more voices and the more businesses and the more influxes that you have to take on, 
never forget that. Yeah. Never yeah. forget that you can be the equivalent of cigar. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And that's what I'm shooting for. That's you what see what I'm, I'm saying? For. Because Q Tip is a fucking brand name. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. But we never say the other word. Ever. 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 It could be, you could see the box. Don't say Q Tip. Give me your Q Tip. Right. Yep. That's how the cigars is about to be. And I, if, if I got any luck. You know what I mean? God bless you. But, um, let the people know how to tap in with you, the site, and all of that. Um, so it's uh, ChateauMauricio.com. Um, I'm on Instagram, uh, Chateau underscore Mauricio.com. I mean, excuse me. Chateau Mauricio. Chateau underscore Mauricio. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm around. You can reach me. I don't turn my phone off. So Hit me up. I'll get you with him if you forget all the rest of it. <laughs> but oh, man. this is my guy. Y'all can tell we we know a little bit more about, about each other than we gonna tell y'all. Correct. Correct. Because um we grown now. Correct. But um support my guy, man. Support somebody that is doing business the right way for the right reasons and that is progressing without stepping on somebody else. You know, because too many times these are the excuses. Yeah. These yeah, should yeah. be the reasons to support the opposite. Right, right. You see what I'm saying? They give you, oh, I had to do what I had to do. You didn't have to do you none didn't of that have to shit. Do none of that, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah. Well, that's what the business, well, we could nah, change the, yeah, the I model. I want to be in that business. Right. Yeah, that business isn't for me. I'm talking about integrity here. These things are important, man. And shout out to one of my sponsors, Bet Wine. That's a um, black family owned company, actually Jamaican. Um, Bet nice. Wine Company. Nice. And that's a family name. He didn't say it because it was about getting bent. That's their last name. That's a big deal. Um, but anything else you want to say before we get out of here? First of all, thanks for having me. Ah, man, anytime. That's Come it, back. Man. When you get a new sure. blend, pull back up. Uh, I will. You know I will. What I'm I have one shortly. My uncle, my name after my uncle. My uncle passed a little while ago, but he was a heavy hitter. It's the one that kept me in Roman. Mm-hmm. So um, it's gonna be a big one. I, 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 I'll display it next time Dope. I see you, man. Yeah, give me some um some literature, something I could put on the set for you, man. Something I could put somewhere so, you. That, so you. that you always hit. You know what I mean? You. I got you. So that's what we doing, man. This is Sipping with Sammy. Always will be Sipping with Sammy. Sam Malone, Barstool, Rug. If you ain't Sipping with Sammy, you ain't Sipping right. Please get your fucking life together. And we out this bitch. This is Sipping with Sammy. I am Sipping with Sammy. Sam Malone, Barstool, Rug. If you ain't Sipping with Sammy, you ain't Sipping right. Please get your fucking life together. We're gonna have a bunk.
I need food on the table. 